bartenders, I want you to say hello to Miss Paula. Mm -hmm. She is the paintbrush and she's a beautiful paintbrush and we always leave her up in the cup if she's in the cups or down on the tray, cuddling the face, facing the same way. Meaning Miss Paula, if they, you had four of them per table, which you most likely will, that they will sit all facing the same way, okay? Now see how this is a special brush and it's probably what you're gonna use today and has a grippy on it. We wanna make sure that we don't take off that grippy kinder and we leave it where it's supposed to be. Now, I'm gonna go over the parts of Miss Paula. So here is her beautiful hair, as you can see. This is the metal ferrule. Everybody say ferrule. This is the grippy and that's the bottom of Miss Paula. Now when you use Miss Paula, I'm gonna tell you a couple secrets about Miss Paula. Okay, artists, before we start using Miss Paula, there are several things that I wanna remind you about. Um, painting is a privilege, and so if you abuse me, abuse my uh, supplies, that is, my rule, abuse me and lose me, you will have a painting timeout and you will not get to paint. So please listen if you want to paint, artist. Painting with Miss Paula, remember, if you don't use the proper procedures, you will not paint, you will take a painting timeout. So the first thing is you only dip the tip of the paintbrush, okay? Just the tip needs to go into the paint. Now, I don't wanna see paint all over the ferrule, okay? There's no need for that. Brushes up butter cup. That's if we put them in at the end, when you get older, they'll be put in the cups. Otherwise, we talked about it before, they will cuddle together on the tray facing the same way, make sure that they're clean. Uh, up in the cup. No booty scoot. Now, Miss Paula is a ballerina, and we're gonna talk about that as a class in a moment. And she only likes to dip the tip, okay? She likes to stand up with her toe. Think of a ballerina, a toe uh, dipped in the paint, okay? And then the booty scoot, what I wanna talk to you about is this is the bottom of Miss Paula. Everybody take a look at the bottom of Miss Paula. It's round, and, it's round on this one. On this one, it's not, it's pokey. So we're gonna use this one today for example. And I want you to think about this, you're the paper, this is your hand. And I want you to think about tickling with Miss Paula. Everybody should have a Miss Paula in their hand right now. I'm probably passing it out as this video is going. And I want you artists to tickle your hand with Miss Paula, okay? Now, I want you to turn around to the other side and see there's the bottom we talked about, it's a round bottom. And I want you to, very careful, this is your own hand, I want you to press and see that doesn't feel very good and the paper says, ouch, I only like to be tickled. So I want you to remember when you're a painting artist, first you can use the grippy, have your hand above the ferrule so we're not getting paint on it. We only dip the tip and then we tickle and we go, it, you have more control with the brush as you pull it towards you. So practice that right now, artist, practicing pulling towards you. Now the booty scoot, I'm gonna show you this, but I don't want you to do it. That's when you take your brush, and I don't even wanna do this to Miss Paula, I'm sorry, Miss Paula. You shove it down and you scrub, and we call that scrubbing the toilet. We don't want a toilet brush, and that's the booty scoot. You don't go to the ballet to see the booty scoot, okay? We're gonna talk about this as a class. So, Please take care of Miss Paula. And when you are done, uh, paper likes to be took with that. Don't be in the danger zone. That's the danger zone. Clean, pat, dry, reshape, and up in the cup. Now I'm gonna show you a secret artist. Here's my water, it's half full. You're gonna do a little bit of painting today with magic water. And I want you to practice, first of all, by putting your brush in the water. And this, we're gonna go to our seats right now in a minute, okay? And do you see this? This is the number eight. And I'm very gently on the bottom of my bowl, which is half full. We are going, and I'll probably get some more waters out so we can do this with a, you know, you have a couple per table. And we just go back and forth and around and around and the number eight. And this is the easiest way to clean your brush, artist. And then when you do this, you splatter and you're gonna ruin somebody's artwork. So please don't do that, just gently. If you have a lot of extra water, do this on the edge, okay? And then when you're done with her, you're gonna take your paper towel. And I usually cut these in half to save, but you're going to dry her and clean her. This is at the end when we're all done, or if we're changing colors, we're not gonna be changing colors today, you're gonna see what we're doing. And we reshape her just like this. Now she can't swim, so please don't leave her in that water because she'll drown. And the real reason, artist, is her head will pop off and these are glued together and you wouldn't be able to paint if you just had something like this. So have fun, enjoy, make good choices. We're gonna have a good time. So artists, here's the second step that we're gonna do. We've already talked about being careful using Miss Paula. 
you're gonna have a bowl of water you're gonna probably share with the shoulder buddy okay and this is a messy mat you're not gonna need it but I need it for this but I want you to understand that when we do do a painting project which will come soon I like for you to have a messy mat that way we don't get it on our table but it also helps you be able to see it for this video that I'm making so you take your paintbrush your Miss Paula and we've already practiced all our shapes. I'm gonna show you something magical about the marker. You're gonna get the paintbrush wet, okay? And watch what happens, artist, when I just slowly tickle this paper, okay? I'm activating this color, and that paint, which is the marker, is gonna to start to bleed. Now, it may not bleed that much, that's okay. We are only practicing this so we can use Miss Paula I want you to go over, oh, there on the bigger, look at the bigger lines that I encouraged you to do. I'm going to just paint the marker. Okay, so only paint the marker. And do you see where that is starting to move and activate that marker paint? Now, if you were to sit here, artist, and just keep going and painting and painting and painting on top of this, you're gonna rip your paper. So please don't do that. Again, this is just using magic water today. I want you to practice using Miss Paula and I'm gonna go over my square. And all you're doing today, artist, is just dipping in the water, practicing using your paintbrush, Miss Paula. And if you want to, practice do the number eight that we just talked about with cleaning the brush, okay? And then at the end, you will take this with you. So you don't wanna get it sopping wet. And when you go home tonight, talk to your parents about Miss Paula and getting to use the paintbrush and using proper procedures. And so have a good time today, artists. Now you can see with the dark, with the bigger ones, bigger lines, it starts to bleed a little bit. So this is just practicing. Oh, there, the brown's really moving around there. And I have a coloring sheet of Miss Paula. When you're done with this, artist, you can set this aside Practice drying your paintbrush. If you're all done, then it's all clean. Dry your paintbrush, reshape it, set it on the tray that's in the middle of the table, and Mrs. Milligan will collect your supplies for you. Have a great day today, artist.